Isn't this exactly how the world works, though? Look at what happens. Because what happened here is the people who are against God, the heathen of the land. We already have seen, I'm not going to cover that again, how in, in the law of Moses, they're explaining that, you know, the people of the land, the people of the land of Canaan, all of these different kingdoms, all these different cities, these people were involved in all manner of wickedness. These are God-hating people that were being judged and annihilated and wiped out according to God's will because of their wickedness. So is it really a big surprise when they find out someone's making peace, right? They're, they're going to not be at war with the children of God. They're making peace with them that that's going to make them livid, that that's going to make them angry, and they're going to want to turn around and devour one another as a result of anybody who's going to support a Bible-believing Christian. Isn't that what we're seeing today from the God-haters? They'll all band together in unity against righteousness, against truth, against, against godly wisdom and godly preaching that's coming out. And you better believe anybody that's going to allow or make peace with the children of God, they're going to be attacked by the, by the gay mafia, right? By the, by the, the, the God-hating people of this world. They don't want to let that stand. It, it's happening. Think about even just, even just people who are just kind of out in the world, like the, like the Chick-fil-A's, right? Now, the Chick-fil-A isn't like some, you know, just these fire-breathing fundamentalists, you know, by any means. But what do they do? They're making peace with God's people by at least throwing a bone and, and kind of supporting anything that has to do with God and the Bible, and especially when it comes to just the most rudimentary, basic stuff. Elizabeth, pick that stuff up off the floor right now and throw it away. And don't do that anymore. All the most basic things, like, like the most vile wickedness, they're actually kind of, you're kind of sort of making a stand, right? And saying, no, we actually don't support this. And, and doing it, in, and I would say in a relatively mild manner, but look at all the, 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 the hatred and the vitriol that's coming against them. Why? Because they've made peace with the children of God on that issue. So they're all going to go after them and just, and just try to shut them down, just like they do to anybody who's actually doing a work or fighting a, a, the spiritual battle and on the right side, they're going to go after those people. But then they'll also go after the people who maybe they may not even be fighting in the battle, but they're just kind of siding with the people who are fighting that battle. They're just in peace with them. They're at agreement with them. Oh, we'll let them do business. Because what you see happening now is that these, these, these God-hating sodomites, see, it's not enough for them to be, to be uh, just accepted or tolerated. They're going to keep pushing the envelope more and more and more. And I'm not going to get too far into this because I'm preaching on this on Sunday. But um, they don't want to get, as soon, as soon as they find out that there's somebody even doing business with them, they're going to go after that business and try to get them shut down. And say, oh, you're going to make peace with them? And then they've done this with all the payment processors, the PayPals, the GayPals, the, you know, all the, all the different um, whoever's allowing for, for charitable giving to be done to churches that preach God's word. They already are attacking the churches, but now they start going after the other businesses saying, well, we'll shut you down. And they're going to go and, and try to destroy anybody that's going to have anything to do. Oh, you, these, these people are going and doing a soul winning marathon. They're going to go out and preach, preach the word of God. These hateful people. And they find out, oh, you're going to be at this restaurant. Oh, you're going to have a conference at this hotel. And what do they do? They, they call up and they do whatever they can to try to attack then whoever is just at peace with, with doing the work of the Lord. There's nothing new under the sun. That's how they operate. Oh, wait, but we're the hateful ones, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah.